Hi guys, so in this video we are going to be practicing simplifying fractions and converting. So simplifying fractions, when we know a fraction is no longer simplified, right, so it is not simplified if it has a common factor. So when we look at the numbers 6 and 8, they do share a common factor. They both can be divisible by 2. So that would be their common factor. So you can do it two different ways. You can either divide both by 2, and you're going to get 3 over 4. Or if they're bigger numbers and you want to go ahead and use that ladder method, you sure can. So you'll put them in the ladder. You'll pull out the prime number 2 and you'll still get 3 over 4, and that becomes your numerator and your denominator. All right, so sometimes they're not this small, though. Sometimes we have some bigger numbers, and we're not sure how to simplify those. So let's do an example of a bigger one. So in here, let's do 24 over 36. Now in this example, I do not know the greatest common factor here. Uh, to go ahead and divide. So let's go ahead and use the ladder method, and that's going to help us. So 24 and 36. I know that 2 goes into both of them. They're both nice and cute even numbers. 24 divided by 2 is 12. 36 divided by 2 is 18. So I'm going to look at this again. Oh, they're still even numbers. Let's take out another 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 18 divided by 2 is 9, and then we're going to look at 6 and 9. They still have a common factor, so we're going to go once again down, and I can pull out a 3. This is that common factor. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now we no longer share a common factor, so these two numbers become my numerator in my denominator. And you're simplifying fractions. All right, we're going to do one more example in this video, and I'm going to do the converting fractions, I think, on another video. Yeah. All right, so let's do one last one. Let's do 36 over 54. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to do the ladder because I am better with the ladder. They're both even numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and choose 2. 36 divided by 2 is 18. 54 divided by 2 is 27. So I'm going to look at this again and be like, hmm, wait a second. They both have, I can both put 3. That's a prime number. 18 divided by 3 is 6, 27 divided by 3 is 9, and we're once again here. We can go down again, and we can take out another 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and once we did this again, we, we end up at 2 thirds again. So that is how you're going to go ahead and simplify fractions. So if they have a common factor, which 36 and 54 do, if they have a common factor, which is 18, that was their greatest common factor, we can we can go um, we can simplify. But you can use the latter method too if they're just too big.